Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Happy November 27th, Cyber Monday. Okay, I don't know why I'm in this mood. I think it's because I am on a water diet right now. Jason always says, why do you always have to tell everybody what you're doing? I'm like, I don't know. I saw this podcaster who's doing a three-day water diet or something like that. And now I'm doing a three-day water diet, which means I'll probably last about three hours. Back to it. We have a mashup that we're going to talk about since we do hot messy topics on the first channel, but I'm hitting you guys with Atlanta, Salt Lake City, and a little bit of Beverly Hills. Before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Okay, guys. So we have a lot to talk about, especially when it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake, and Beverly Hills. I'm going to start with Salt Lake first because Monica Garcia is a hot topic right now. Everyone's talking about her. They either love her or they love to hate her, but they are still talking about her. And she definitely made an entrance this season. Now, she was asked. In an interview with Us Weekly for a Housewives Happy Hour, the interviewer asked Monica about her biggest purchase since being on the show, and Monica didn't hold back on the cringeworthy tale of her ill-fated splurge on her Louis Vuitton bag ahead of the trip to Palm Springs. She said, oh my God, you already know, freaking Louis Vuitton. She said that the purchase has been the subject of some intense debate among fans, with skeptics suggesting that it is fake, but she said it was a real bag. It was a real hard purchase. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. And right now I do regret it. Real bag, real regrets. In a particularly vulnerable moment on the episode ahead of the trip, Monica obviously spilled the beans about her expensive accessory, which would be the Louis Vuitton bag, admitting that she bought it to keep up with the other housewives. I just feel like I want to have something nice around them and I don't want to show up with nothing. It's stupid. That's not me. I'm not that person. I don't care. Who knew a bag could be so emotional? Well, on top of that, Andy Cohn is revealing that some housewives were very pissed that Monica was in that front seat for the seating chart for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Yeah, they were not happy. Not only were they not happy, they were freaking livid. And he said that some of the housewives said, her storylines are fake and inauthentic. And he's like, Monica absolutely delivered this season and she deserved to be in that chair. Go ahead and clock that one. If you guys haven't been paying attention, then you need to pay attention to this one because this one has me a little bit thrown for a loop because Nene Leaks is all over the place right now. And a lot of people are speculating, which we talked about in Hot Messy Topics, what's going on with her now that she has wiped, wiped, literally wiped Bethany Frankel off of her page, right? Hold on. I'm going to play something for you really quick. I understand that she is at Steve Harvey's, you know, his golf thing, right? I get that in Dubai. The fact that she wiped everybody off or Bethany Frankel and this whole reality reckoning, she's not doing that anymore. And then she made amends with Cynthia Bailey. And now she is also out with Portia. Let's play the clip. Uh, we can't play the clip with audio. Thanks for the music. Here she is, Portia. Mm-hmm. 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 Lisa Milan, Chanel Ion, Cynthia Bailey. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take this off now. Now, getting back to it, Candy Burris apparently is backing the return of Nene Leakes and Portia. This came out from realityt.com. Season 15 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta was a flop. Even Andy Cohen admitted that things were going to change in the Atlanta franchise. Atlanta should get tweaked in some ways, what he stated at BravoCon. Whether that means a complete reboot, like The Real Housewives of New York City, well, that remains to be seen. But Candy Burris had some ideas about switching up the cast, and it involves bringing back some familiar faces. I definitely would welcome Nene back with open arms now. I think it would be exciting. Let me just say that. However, an insider told The Messenger that in Nini's case, there have been no talks of returning. Even though Andy left the door open a crack for her, 
return after their falling out, Candy said, I would be here for a Portia Williams Gobadia moment. I think that she could be open to it. As for Kim Zolciak returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you can never say what the network is thinking. That's what Candy said. I think Candy's reaction to Kim seems like, um, she's like, no. Even Candy's return is up in the air. She said, my contract is already up. And so it's not like a send me a letter type of thing. It's an actual let's have a conversation and see what we're trying to do. I love being a part of the Bravo family. I love being a part of the NBC Universal family. It has been hard for me, and I'm not speaking for anybody else. But for me, it's been an overall good experience. For me, I would like to continue to grow my relationship there. Candy doesn't believe that the show will receive the complete reboot treatment. They may change out a group of people. I think it might be a big change from what was last season. They have been really interviewing people for a long time. And so it's not easy finding people who want to be a part of the franchise, who are genuine, who really have a story and lives that are interesting, which I completely agree with. I mean, a lot of times they say that some of these housewives, they don't actually... like. People who have really, really interesting lives and the opulent lifestyles, they don't want to be on TV like this. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, let me move over to Sutton Strack over here because she's revealing which one of her Beverly Hills co-star turns it on most for the cameras. She's also revealing a lot, to be fair. She said, we all turn it on for the camera, so you kind of become a bigger version of yourself. But I think Erica Jane might bring out the most because she's kind of a quiet person. If you ask my castmates who causes the most drama, they would probably say me, me being Sutton. But I don't think that's true, and I don't think it's fair. I think we all cause the most drama. After defending her potentially dramatic behavior, Sutton denied that drinking has anything to do with the issues that she's had with her castmates. Sometimes I'm just drinking hot water with lemon and honey. Sometimes I'll drink one drink, and it might look like I'm drinking that drink all night because I'm a sipper. Girl, what does that tell you? We're not buying that. Back to it. <laughs> After Sutton and Erica butted heads on a number of occasions throughout production on Beverly Hills season 13, especially after she stormed out of the Magic Mike show, claiming that she was offended and the show wasn't her brand, Erica said at BravoCon that she needed a break from Sutton for a couple of years. She also poked fun at Sutton's sex life, saying that she would be the worst lay ever. Um, that's not very nice. Now, as for the moment that Sutton wished that fans had seen on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she said it was a party she hosted during season 12. She said it was so pretty and it was for my cashmere line. Susan Rockefeller was there, my daughter was there, and it was such a pretty party and they didn't air any of it. It was very sad. But during another interview, she weighed in on the way in which Erica put her on the spot with the Magic Mike dancer after she left in the middle of the show. She said, always on the show, you have to let it run its course and breeze through it because it's always going to be okay. There's no malintent with me, and that's the truth. I show up, I put on my microphone, and sometimes I say things that I shouldn't, and I always run into trouble. I always step into things. Mm. Yeah, Sutton Strack does have a way about that. Now, guys, I want three comments from each one of you guys who are watching this right now. Three. One, would you be okay with Nini and Portia coming back to the show? Two, do you think Monica Garcia deserved that first seat? And three, do you think Erica Jane is the one who turns it up most for the cameras? Guys, comment below. And before you go, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.